So I'm pretty sure, as you guys know, as of late, we've been killing it. We've been playing a whole bunch of crazy horror games, such as Scrutinize, checking out some FNAF VF tapes. VF. FNAF VHS tapes, and basically any game which is going to scare the absolute crap out of me. However, there has been a specific game on the rise that I've seen basically requested every other comment, and it's this thing right here. I don't know what the freak this is either. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a game called the Henry Stickman Collection. What the freak is this? This is honestly a game I've seen requested so much in recent days over basically every single style of video that I've done, whether it be horror, whether it be random bullcrap, it does not matter. This game is always in the back of my mind, thanks to you guys. I know next to nothing about this game, but people have said time and time again, it is an absolute joy to play. And I say we go ahead and check it out. And if you guys do want me to do that part too, you know exactly what to do. All right, let's press start then. This is the Henry Stickman collection. So this feels so much like a Newgrounds flash game. So we find ourselves at the prologue breaking the bank. It looks like the six different levels that we can make our way through. So that's interesting. Let's go ahead and play him. Dang, I guess that's Henry Stickman. So his identity is already straight out there. Now let's get the freak off the screen. All right, uh, my man. Wait, I think I know where this is about to go. Is it one of those like multiple choice based games where it gives you the idea on how you break in? Oh, this could be interesting. So I guess we're breaking in the bank and straight out of the bat. It gives us six different options. We got the shovel, which is probably going to be nice and quiet. We can use explosives where basically we're going in loud and proud, but it looks like we're not packing a gun. So I don't know if that's a good option. Teleport at laser wrecking ball or a disguise. Hmm, let's try the shovel, right? You'd want to dig your way through. This should work out. We got that good stuff. I'm seeing that Zelda reference. Get digging, Henry. He wastes. Uh oh. A gas. Oh, Henry, you gotta back out. So we don't want to do it that way. Ooh, I see how this game's gonna work, guys. Now, explosives. We know there's a gas main down there, so I really can't see that working out. If we were to laser our way through, that seems like it might be a good way. It's a powerful little laser. He cuts the way out the wall. <laughs> You've literally got to, <laughs> got to be kidding me, man. What about the wrecking ball? As long as we're not sat on that thing, we should be okay. Okay, we drive the vehicle in. That's right. Uh, that was probably something we should have thought about long before. Yeah, you got to back out, Henry. So we've tried three ways so far. <laughs> Dang it, man. Disguise is probably the best way, right? We've got to hop in what looks to be a moving van. Yeah, that's it. Disguise yourself as a random piece of cash on the side of the road. They back up. Eh? Dude. How did we lose one? You I might not have. Throw it in the back. Just to be safe. Wow. Hold up. They might have just stole someone's money and they you don't ever care. Wonder why there's a bank out here? Well. Kind of strange, right? I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, okay, well, that, that explains sense. something. Yeah. Yeah, it does definitely. So I guess the car pulls through. All right, we've made it in, guys. We've made it in. Progression point number one. Now, Henry, what's the plan, huh? Let's see all that cash. Three! Don't move. Did we mess up already, or do I get a decision on how I escape this good stuff? Come on, Henry! Use that brain of yours! We did it. The story begins. Wait, what? Let's go next, guys. Oh, so we made it to the bank. Episode 1, Escaping the Prison. Wait, hold up. Did we just straight up beat the whole thing already? I have oh, no yeah. idea. What the freak? Who's that? Go. We're good. <laughs> Is that funny, though? Not really. But you think got... you're hilarious, right? What might that be? Don't get your special? hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, okay. haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I, I think mean, I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. job I'm lose my job. All right. <laughs> so. See you around. Yeah. I don't think you will be, you suckers. So hmm. what is it? It's a birthday cake. Hey, oh, dude. We got that Disney level of inventions right there. So we can file. We got the energy drink, a teleporter, a rocket launcher, a cell phone, or a drill. Listen, guys, this probably ain't gonna work out, but let's go out loud and proud, all right? Let's get it, dude. So shoot that wall straight behind you. You aiming at the police, though? Bro. No, God, please, no. Oh, my God. This dude is the most unluckiest man ever, and I thought my luck was bad! Alright, now in this universe, let's see. I'm kind of curious about the energy drink. They just slipped us a caffeine increased energy drink. Alright, he downs that. What's the... Slow motion. Oh, this might actually be a good solution. We've completely froze time. You could probably slip... Ultra strength 2, though? 
Oh, okay. It's good that we didn't get put in that cell with him. Look, no one sees anything happening. What are you about to do with him, though? Hold on. <laughs> Head first in the trash can, though? What about these other officers? You're gonna deal with them? Look at those gherkin feet, though. Steal that. That's it. We're also eating the donuts tonight. So we made out already. The energy drink was the solution all along. Okay. And we come straight back down. Wait, hold up. Energy side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibilities of stroke and or heart attack. Well, that's good to know. And it was all looking so freaking promising, man. Back to the drawing board. Now, let's try teleporter, okay? We don't want to hit those gas mains with the drill. This is what happens. Okay. Perfect. Fire. You've got... Are you kidding me, dude? You literally just peppered me right there. Maybe the file is going to be good, right? Certainly not a phone, so they're not going to see that. We get the choice. The cell door or the window. Now, I'm seeing like a small crook right there. So, we're going to make our way through that, I think. Let's go, dude. Come on. Be that level 30 boss. Looks good. <laughs> we're like eight stories up. <laughs> this game, dude. Let's try the cell door. What could honestly go wrong, right, guys? Filing away at that door with about 88 million cops just behind. Look, he knows we're there. Click. I got chin by a cop. My chin is gone. Now we know, though, guys. So, hold up. Click. Ooh, a bit of matrix action, I see. Click there. It's quick time, though. He had the taser. Any more? Took them both out. Bro, you should hang on to that. Hey, he's escaping. Pick up that bar right now. We made it. Okay, we're in the hangout. Belt of grenades or chair. We prop up the door. Bro, you should have used the chair to prop up the door. Come on, get your little gammy feet up, bro. Left or right? Let's go left, guys. You know what they say. Left is uh, the best. I've never heard that said. Okay, keep sneaking. No. Shut up, janitor. You don't count. Now, next we made it out, I think, guys. We made it literally. <laughs> they were probably having a meeting about how to contain my back meat. Right? That's why we say it, guys. When you're right, you're right. So we make it right. Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay, that wasn't us. So that's good. We are very... There's a crate. A rope, a parachute, plungers, or jetpack. Now, see, this game probably wants me to pick the parachute, but I feel like the plungers are going to be the best thing. However, I'm stupid, so we're going jetpack, guys. Let's get it. Woo! Flash off, dude. Wait for it. Wow. Now look, you're back. Give me the rope. If we shoot that thing, we can just zip straight on down, right? Okay, we got the connection. Woof, the rope went on the fingers. The oh, come on, man. Surely we wasn't that high up, right? We made it up. You're okay. <laughs> We're out. Why is with this game, though? That is, like, pinnacle bad luck. Plunger time, guys. No, not on your forehead, dude. Put those things straight on your feet, okay? Or do it like that. Whichever works best. Yeah, that's it. Nice and easy. We're down to the ground level. We're free! We did it, guys, the sneaky escapers. Woo! Who'd have thought, man? Let's get it, dude. Rank SE? Is that like top rank or something, though? I feel like I just kicked this game straight up, guys. And I had no idea what the freak I was doing. He's making a break for it, though. Ending's one of three. So there's multiple ways you can escape. Okay, guys, now I'm curious. I want to try the drill. We know we're high up. So are we going to, like, create the ultimate escape route for a lot of people? That's it. We're going on down, guys. Where did we land? I feel like a shady bathroom. This is leading on to a new ending. So we've got the Apacitator or the Crowbar. That door right there is completely barricaded up. I, I don't even know what the freak a Apacitator is, so we're going to use it. What might happen? Okay, you just move the blue slider to the right and you'll become as opaque. That means see-through for all you uneducated folks. As you want, not only that, but the more opaque you get, the easier it will be for you to pass through solid objects. Excellent. So now we know what to do. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, we're going to fall through to the middle of the earth though, right? Bro, how are you going to stop this? You're not thinking about this, right? No, 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 no. Oh my god. You'd think something like that would come up in beta testing. So this time we're going to choose the crowbar. Ooh, there's a drainage system. So we're moving through the pipes again. And of course, it's got a trap door. We fall straight in front of these two dinguses. We make the run. QTE. Woo, he dodging them all. All right, this way, this way. Did I do it? So let's go. We go down up. Oh, we got to be quicker with the clicks, right? Shotgun straight out line of sight. We should have went right, man. Can we make it though? That way, that way. Straight through the door. Holy crap, we're going Matrix on this dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, they're really about to pull this, guys. Get ready. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm ready. So, what's gonna happen? Holy crap, bro. Where do we go? Baba boy. Click. I got you. Whoa. We're doing some matrix stuff up in here. You caught a bullet and threw it back at him. What about the five officers behind him? They're timid. We just walk out. Look, they ain't even gonna. Dude, they're too frightened to even try and stop us right now. We're free, guys. That's what it was all about. We walk out. Yeah. No more penitentiary time for us. Take the car, bud. Why not? We take the car, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's ending two and three. Rank BBO. What, what does BBO stand for, though? That just leaves one more ending for us to go ahead and crack. And of course, you already know I'm about to do that. Now, we haven't messed with the cell phone at this point. So, we're going to instead find a cell phone, guys. Family, friends, co-workers, attorneys. Got a lot of contacts. September the 9th, 12.53, District Court. We got, like, settings and stuff. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. Witness, As are you Ryan kidding me? As my partner in the armored van. Are we gonna object, though? She spotted a bag on the side of the road. Okay. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! No way! So the defendant crawled into that bag <laughs> on, in order man. to break into the bank. Is that correct? <laughs> Let's see. Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I don't know, and you tell me, dude. that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. We have the evidence. We can show everything in the bag. Now, what should we show is the evidence, though? Maybe ugh, floor plans of the bank is bad. We could do doctor's analysis. Let's try that, guys. So, doctor's examination of the defendant done after arrest. Defendant suffered many bruises and cuts. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. That could mean that someone else is doing this thing for us. Is, Hold up. Is that the bag the defendant hid in? Apparently. Yes, but there's one thing Wait that's it, bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the you bag? You tell me. Let's go, man. If he was inside the bag, it'd be oh impossible God. for him to tie that knot on the outside. <gasps> Is this what this game's like, though? Didn't know. How did Hold he on. do it? It's simple. He didn't. There we what go. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't ahead, hiding bro. that bag at all. Uh-huh. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! <gasps> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, this the defendant deep, had though. taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he uh -huh. was unconscious. How about that, guys? We were set up for this absurd. crap. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. Uh -huh. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. It had my fault! But why would he do that? How about that? Why? To dispose of the body, of course. Mm -hmm. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. Smart thinking, but unfortunately huh? for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his Look tomb. at that, dude. He didn't do he the job. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. <laughs> come back to haunt him now. Let's see. You guys can't... You can't... You, you, you just push the fingers. You can't come on, bro. Argue. You're a cop. You gotta argue. He's got no argument. Did we well, just get free? Hold that on. certainly was an interesting trial. Uh-huh. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. Let's get it. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's the third ending that we need. And that's what it was all about. Henry, you're free, buddy. So what's the plan now, huh? That's a maniacal apple. He hunts down that thing straight up, dude. He knows what he's gonna get. We got the rank alley-oop. I don't know what that means, guys, but it's a good thing either way. Ah, so this is what this game's all about then. All right, guys, well, we're gonna leave this first episode of Henry Stickman here. So it's one of those games where pretty much it's like a mishmash of a load of bullcrap that you can do. You get the choice in how you dictate Henry's outcome and basically nine out of 10 times, you end up getting this dude caught again. A fun little game though, I gotta say. I like the fact that there's multiple endings and it does encourage you to go back for more. So look, guys, if you do want me to come back for more, I'm gonna gladly do that. Games like this are fun. You don't see them as often nowadays. So it's almost like reminiscing and it's a blast from the past, but either way, this is where we're going to leave this episode here, guys, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rate, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and never use a drill outside of a bank to break in, okay, because this happens.